Here we are going to calculate the electric field due to flat non-conducting plane. So let we have this plane is charged positively with uniform charge density, and the objective is to find the electric field just outside this infinite non-conducting plane. The density is sigma in coulombs per meter squared. The density is constant, or we call it uniform. So, to find the electric field just outside this infinite non-conducting plane that is charged positively, we will choose a Gaussian surface a cylinder, this Gaussian cylinder passes through this area, where is this electric charge? So, and then we use Gauss's law, the electric flux, with a total flux. In this case, we will have, uh, we will have uh, the flux from this surface, you'll be out, the electric field will be outward, this area Normal to the area is outward. This normal to the area is outward. We we'll call it dA. Then electric field also will be outward here. The lateral surface, normal to this lateral uh, surface, is perpendicular to the electric field. That means there is no flux on this area. So the total electric flux it will be the flux from the, this base and the flux from this base only. For the lateral area, there is no flux because the normal is perpendicular. The normal area is perpendicular to the electric field. Now, the only, that means in this case, I will have just two fluxes due to this basis. That means it will be A times the base, the area 1, and these two areas are identical, and this electric field also are identical in magnitude, you'll be twice E, E, in this case, you'll be Q over epsilon 0, with the total charge over epsilon 0. The, the charge is on the surface, we have surface density, that means you'll be just sigma times the area, over epsilon zero. So this is it will be twice A times A. That is our electric field due to infinite non-conducting plane. The electric field just outside this infinite non-conducting charged plane will be sigma divided by two epsilon zero because this area vanishes. This is what will be our electric field due to a non-conducting flat surface and thin. So why say thin? If the if we have charges here between that means we don't have no charges between these two surfaces. Between these two surfaces. This is why thin only the charges they are on the surface. 